This is so good. My wife wanted to come. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please, please, let's call this meeting to order. As our first point of business here at the Ordination Fraternity, I'd like to welcome our newest ordained member. He's been found to be properly equipped with all of the qualities necessary. Uh, Pastor Reed, welcome, oh, Pastor, yeah, Reed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastor Reed. <laughs> Pastor Reed, you are now a member of a club that dates back to antiquity. Is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, this is a great opportunity to be here. I'm noticing something about your club. I'm not seeing, well, um, where are the women? Pastor Reed, thank you for being candid. Thank you. But you see, it's not as easy as it sounds. It's a world of power. It's a world of might. If we stack the deck, we can have our right. Ordination and tradition. We all keep our position. It's a man's world after all. It's a man's world after all We decide who has the call God was a man after all It's a man's man's world It's a world where women still know their place Men were made first in the human race Equality sours when the headship's not ours It's a man's world after all Didn't Jesus ask us to treat everyone equally? It is his church, right? We like the power, so we make the rules. Reading scripture in context is the work of fools. From all conscience, we're free in this fraternity. It's a man's world after all. It's a man's world after all. guys you've got to know how bad this looks to everyone outside the church it may sound absurd to the world out there but we have our truth so we just don't care don't distract us on our mission we gave women their commission it's a man's world after all it's a man's world after I don't think I belong here. Join the club. Wait. You have a club too? It's a man. 